Hello everyone, welcome to Alma, Missouri. So this is of course a brand new series on the channel. Get this started up. This is like my first time owning a gator in, in any of my series. So this is kind of different for me, but we'll start heading down towards the farm. Now I really wanted to get back into uh, like a North American, American map. Um, the last one would have been like Edgewater, which is obviously um, in Canada, but uh, usually there's some you know similarities to some, how some of the things are done. So there are some new productions on this map. Ketchup, I know it's one, which kind of different. Uh, pizza. Um, there's a corn dryer and a popcorn factory. So we will definitely try to get a lot of that stuff done. Oh, I guess we'll take you right through the, the main part of town. <laughs> nice, like, small town feel to it. Obviously, I've never been to Alma, Missouri, so I don't know, obviously, how realistic it is to how it is in real life. If you have been there, please let me know. I'd be curious on how accurate a lot of things are. I think we just take this road quite a ways down. And we just have a left. And it's quite a ways down a road, and then we actually hit the farm. Um, I haven't changed too much of the starting equipment. I changed the baler. Mainly because I just want a square baler. I added a little toolbox at the house, that way we can kind of do any sort of maintenance and stuff on our equipment there. Um, I added a front loader for one of the tractors. And I uh, put a different planter or cedar in there. That way we don't have to cultivate prior. It's more of a personal preference on a lot of that stuff. Oh, there we get the first glimpse of the farm. We do have a sheep pen, cow pen, and a horse stable that we start with. So maybe we'll get some horses or something, you know? I think the first animal will probably be sheep. But we'll see, of course. Park the old gator right here. Kind of be a nice little vehicle to kind of get around, I'm sure. Nice basketball hoop. So we have the wheat field out there. That's quite a drive. I haven't really drove out here much, so I think we're going to take this road. And it should get us right, right to the field, I would imagine. Um, alfalfa, I'm pretty sure that is something you mow. So we'll be uh, setting up a mower for that. Uh, which direction do I want to start on this? Probably on like this very far corner. Because it can start taking you know, straight strip that way. They are fairly large fields too. I mean this... Sure on the map you may think, oh that's not too big, but it's it's... A fairly good sized field, it really is. Cornfield's pretty good sized. I think I checked the largest field is like 33 acres? Something like that, so fairly big. I'm kind of surprised we're not getting that much for, uh, for the yield, but oh yeah, the god, the yield is horrible. Holy. I, I just saw that. Oh my. We got, we got a lot of work. <laughs> we got a lot of work. A little bit better here. It's possible it's soil too. Possible. We will not be bailing this, I don't think. I don't think it's really worth. Oh, it looks like they may have a mind of their own on here. They seem to kind of turn in this direction. Both. 
And we'll turn them both on. Well, we got a little bit of grass there, too. I think this might just turn it basically into grass? It's kind of what it looks like. I'm not sure if... Uh, like the sheep and stuff accept this. I hope they do. If they don't, this might be changed into... You know, either a grass field or... Something else. Because obviously I don't want something on my farm that I can't really use for anything. Now, this is a pretty good sized field. It really is. So we will probably just stop this real quick. Well, they're getting fairly full. They're going to miss some. I, I realize that now. They seem to kind of... Go on their own little path. I do like this uh, this farm setup here. I really do. Got everything that we need. Everything we need. Even even some junk in the corner. Well, two what? Yeah, it looks like two junked cars. Not sure how large of a capacity this is. I believe we can upgrade it, but we'll kind of see if that becomes an issue, and then we'll look to add capacity for it. I know I was looking through at uh, you know some map options, and uh, this was one I had looked at before it came out. I had heard about it. I was like, oh, maybe I'll think about doing something with it in the future, and. Yeah, when I hopped on, kind of checked it out, I was like, yep, this is it. This is the map. Well, let's try to get to them before they reach the end. But I don't think, uh, I don't think they're going to stop. Yeah, there's crap destruction on. Let's just get them taken off for a second here. Just so they can get unloaded. Oh, well, the capacity is probably over 10,000 liters, it looks like. Um, yeah, just over 10,000 liters. So it's the axle flow 7150. I'll check too. Maybe there's a grain bin upgrade, of course. Alright, now we can just have a worker go back off on this. Now, the yield on this is pretty good. As soon as I said that, it drops. Probably shouldn't say something's doing good then, huh? It might just be a, a situation that's kind of just how the soil is. Obviously, that so far looks like it hasn't been good at all. So, we'll see. Hopefully we end up starting out with some pretty good soil fields. Oh, that's like the one worry, obviously, is you get fields with some really bad soil in it, and well, then you're almost looking to get rid of them in a sense. I don't know when the corn will be ready, but I think probably two months from now. Should be pretty soon. It's already getting pretty tall, so... Wouldn't think we'd be too far away, and then we'll be looking at, you know, maybe a corn dryer, maybe. Um, and main reason I think we might be able to do the corn dryer is I have a production leasing mod. It looked to be about $1,000 a day, at least for the corn dryer. I'm not sure if it's separate for, you know, all the productions or if it's just a flat $1,000. Honestly, $1,000 ain't, ain't bad. It's really not. Because it's $1,000 a day, but a day is one month for us. So, if it can knock out all of our corn in, let's say, three months, get all dried, and we can maybe rent the popcorn factory then, that's $3,000, and to buy it, it's like $100,000. So I think it would, 
it's honestly going to be kind of nice. You can kind of lease different ones and kind of decide, oh yeah, yep, we're going to buy this one. I think the cord and dryer might be one of those we might look to buy if it seems profitable enough. Well, I think I'm going to do a uh, quick little time lapse. We'll, uh, we'll see how far we get in this field in a good you know, minute long time lapse. So uh, I'll talk to everyone uh, once the time lapse is done. Something's burning on my heart tonight. And it's so because of you. Something's changing in the air tonight. Yeah, it's all because of you So we got not much left in this little triangle, then I probably should uh, get the harvester emptied. I see it did end up filling up all the way, and the trailer is basically full right now. But I did go off and uh, empty it. I may have cut that out of the time lapse, so. So I, I can take out a little bit, and it can kind of go maybe a thousand liters worth it won't be much let's probably just get this set up over here honestly it's not that much left it's fairly fairly straight I didn't do that bad of a job we'll have to set up the uh, augers and everything I have not did that yet yeah I'm sure uh, there's a couple people here from our Edgewater days and they might remember how much fun I had with those, especially at the start. I started getting better with them as I used them, but... The, uh, the one you use to load the silos, that was like the main reason I switched the trailer in that series. I had so many troubles trying to get the bottom hopper uh, trailer to actually unload with it. I think somebody had told me later what I was doing wrong, but that was a while ago now. I do need to open the top too, so. This is how I lined it up, I know, towards the end. I would just get it lined up like this. And let's do that, and then I kind of knew if I was right on or not. Looks to be pretty close. I think we gotta open it, right? Should be a button. Okay, I think I figured it out. Unless it's going all over the ground right now. I think I figured it out. Yeah. Okay. I was doing it wrong. It just basically automatically opens up, it seems. I, I was just thinking of uh, the ones from Edgewater you had to open up. So, yeah, I figured, yeah, I'll just try to dump it in and see what happens. Yeah, it worked then. So, my assumption was wrong, I guess. And let's double check on the whole alfalfa situation. Yep, alfalfa hay, so I would imagine we would want to soybean straw? Corn flour? Cornbread? Sweet cornbread? Pumpkin pie? 
apple pie, butter popcorn, apple juice, pineapple juice. Why am I now just learning about all of this new stuff? Pineapple? Pineapple on pizza? I don't know about that, but it's not my kind of thing. Pumpkins? Lemonade? Wow. I'm just now learning about all of this. I'm just now learning that there is a bunch of new stuff with this. I knew there was a decent amount, but not quite that much. There we go. Wow. <laughs> I guess uh, even, I would assume, like, pumpkin pie and stuff would be bakery, so... We should even probably look to get, a, get the bakery at some point. I'm not sure where you would get pumpkins and stuff. I'm assuming there might be a greenhouse. That would kind of make sense. So heck, maybe we'll have to look to get some greenhouses and stuff. Which we were already going to have to do it eventually for like ketchup and stuff. Yeah, I, I'll have to look at obviously some of the ingredients for some of the different stuff. So I am pretty confident like ketchup that usually has like sugar in it and stuff. So we'll probably have to get sugar out imagine. At least realistically there's usually sugar. I'm sure there's sugar free ketchup too but well we'll at least get the, the alfalfa done. Gotta look at the positives here. Um, yeah, we'll have to maybe start tethering. At least really get get a start on it. Uh, I'm not sure how large our windrower is either. Probably have to look at getting a trailer for the bales because I don't think it'd be very much fun taking taking two at a time to wherever we decide to store this. I'll probably go on a test map and just verify like the sheep and stuff will use alfalfa. Just so I, I know that ahead of time and I'm not you know wondering what the heck's going on. Of course, we got cows too. Can't forget about the cows. I just know there's a tailor shop, so maybe there's something unique with that. So maybe, maybe we should be looking at sheep. Granted, I mean, there's probably something unique with the milk too. There's soybean straw, so that's gonna be. Well, we'll have to do that. Hundred, hundred percent, we'll have to. Look to do some soybeans. Not only is it one of my favorite crop crops to do, but now we have a, an extra reason to do it. Well, I guess actually we could do the soil map for the alfalfa field. That does need to be checked. We can pick up the, the front loaders, that way it doesn't get forgotten. Yeah, I mean, I think we'll easily get probably three, maybe four trailers out of that field. But we're talking a good $50,000. Might have to check, maybe there's something unique to do with... Uh, With wheat too. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of new things to try. Well, I'm kind kind of excited. <laughs> That's like the best part about uh, like unique map features and stuff. It's trying all the new things. Always is, always, always is. New crops. Obviously, there seems to be a lot of new productions and, and different items and stuff too for this. Oh, grain tank is nearly full. Of course, it is going the wrong direction, but I'm just going to stop it and 
get this flipped around. Otherwise it's going to fill up and it's going the wrong direction. Either way, it's going the wrong direction. That is a very abysmal yield map. Is there even a speck of green in there? How low does it get? 60%. The average is like 80? Oh, it's a little bit better than that. 85. That's not too bad. Even though parts of this is 110 plus. We are currently having a decrease in sell prices. Wow. I have I don't know if I've ever had that. We're gonna have some serious work to do, that is for certain. Oh, we'll send this off once again. And we'll start finishing out the rest of the soil map. Looks like there's going to be plenty of uh, checks needed for this. We'll leave this uh, this out because they'll have to go and do that one. I'm hoping it's not soil based. I'm hoping it's just pH. That's why it's so low. But I would imagine it might be a bit of both. For it to be that, that far down. Pretty rare when you see something quite that bad. Well, I think uh, I'll just do a time lapse. We'll finish out this soil checking pretty fast. We'll see kind of how the harvester is sitting. Maybe we can finish that today. It's hard to say. I Like I've said in the past, I do have a... But a one hour record time is usually what I go for, so if it's almost done, I'll finish it. If, if there's still quite a bit left, then, then we'll have to leave it for the next the next time. So I'll uh, talk to everyone uh, once the time lapse is done. So we did get all the soil maps done. I was just hoping to finish some of this up and it appears we might honestly get full before this is done. Dang it, I was hoping I could finish this row. That does not seem like it's gonna happen. Nope. Nope. So close. So, so close. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna f be finished today or not. The harvest. We'll see. There's not that much left. It's it's the smaller portion. So it's not going to be nearly as long of a strip as that. As these were. Of course, we'll still have some cleanup, it looks like. We might have a couple uh, multi-harvest, you know, a multi episode harvest. Get to bring those back again. I know we had uh, quite a few of those on uh, Edgewater. I think it was only mainly one field, but that was a decent amount of them. We did harvest that field quite a bit. <laughs> I will get this taken off again. We'll let a worker kind of finish this up. Let's hop over here real quick. I'm going to turn it off, but... Let's yep, send the soil samples off. Oh, wrong button. We'll see what they come back as. As soon as I switch over, of course I see the worker taking a nosedive straight into the ravine with a nice expensive harvester. Never fails. Yeah, I think even if we do stretch this to a second month, it might just be a 
pretty short harvest. I'll check how the corn is. That, that'll that kind of give me a better idea if I even want to do that. Stretch it into multiples. Oh, the worker's grain tank is full once again. Figured it would get full pretty fast. I think we may really consider upgrading this trailer soon. Let's check on the soil map here. Ooh. Ooh. That's ugly. This part right here looks good. This part looks good. This looks pretty good. That's pretty ugly. Well, we definitely have a little bit in this field at the top. A little bit of loam, too. We have some in this field. A lot of silty clay. Looks like the nitrogen is really bad. And the pH. Okay. Well, that actually brought up our score a little bit. It's only going to take 3% of our profits now. So that is improvement. It's improvement in the right direction, but we still don't want, obviously, any lost income at all. It'll take us a little bit to get there, but... As I've done with, like, every time I've had precision farming on, it takes a little bit and we'll be in the 80s, 90s, and no time for... For our score. But yeah, I mean, this is... This field is kind of big enough where we could almost, you know, finish it easily next month in a pretty quick time. It's not a huge rush either. Because we will have, uh... Some time until we have to sell and we'll have some hay to do and stuff. All right, let's check this field out. Field four. Won't be next month. Maybe the month after. Yeah, I think it'll be the month after, because I have to go to that darker color first. Yeah, we're like just over halfway with this field. I think we'll shut the worker down that lowered get that put away turned off we'll put this well 10,000 liters away and we'll get the trailer upgraded and I think that'll be everything for the first Atten zone let me know obviously what everybody's thinking of well, Alma Missouri you know obviously bringing back some a longer series with this as in longer, it's probably going to be like 35 up zones, 40 up zones. That's like most of my like map playthroughs are. This isn't a one-year challenge. That is something that will probably come back at some point. Just not, just not on this map. They're nice to do because they're nice and like short. You can kind of have a break between certain styles. Well, we'll get uh, get this put in here. That'll put us at 50,000 liters. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Probably should get that turned off too, it sounds like. Just hear the engine a little bit. Well, it's like a lawnmower engine, basically, but... Alright, let's get this backed up into there. We can get the... Get this trailer extended. I I know we're, we are either going to do it now or we're going to do it later. But we matter just do it now. Hopefully that's kind of in the trigger. I can't really t tell what the, where the trigger is on this. Okay, it is. So we'll add the extension. Five and a half grand. I think that's worth it. So that puts us at $66,000 at max, 54,000 liters of wheat. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I think, for you know, the first episode. We, of course, will have the rest of the harvest next time, probably some hay. Yeah, let me know on you know, animals, what kind of animals you would prefer to see first. 
I'm thinking sheep. They're usually easier to take care of than cows. Unless you don't do total mix ration, but... Off the horses, I think we'll probably do one at some point. I do have a, like a horse keeper mod that should help with some of the daily riding activities and stuff. That way, well, I'd be doing it off camera all the time. So, I mean, it really doesn't matter to you guys, I guess, to everyone watching. You know, get, we could get a get a Thor too. If anybody knows that reference, that'll eh, probably be a couple people. Thor two. Well, that is everything for today. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.